Okay, Gary, we're on. Okay, good evening. Welcome to this online session about the professional golf programmes that we offer based at our Elmwood campus in Cooper Fife. My name is Gary Anderson. I'm the programme leader and along with my colleague Graham McDowell and one or two lecturers from other departments, we deliver the professional golf programmes. I'm going to talk predominantly about the HNC tonight and leading on to the HND because that's what we're offering for next year. I'll just give you a wee breakdown of how we're going to structure the next sort of 10 minute talk. I'm going to talk about our qualifications, our location and the facilities that are close by that we can access as part of our industry visits and so on. Look at past student successes and where they've gone. So it gives you an idea of the sort of careers that, that our programmes lead on to. Talk a bit about universities, progression routes and employment. And we have a partnership with a US Collegiate Golf. If anybody's a high level golf performer thinking of continuing their studies in America and what it's like to be a sort of student athlete, to what it's like to work on your game as well as try and study full time as well. There'll be an opportunity for question and answers at the end. So if there's any questions pop up just through throughout this, if you could just take a note of them or put them in the chat box, then my colleague Caroline will feed them. So for those that are local, you know that we're based in Cooper, which is in the heart of North East Fife, just a, a sort of 10, 15 minute drive from St Andrews, but crucially right in this region of a high level golf facilities, not far from Carnoustie, not far from the Barney Links, Kings Barns, and really not that far from Glen Eagles either. And away from these big sort of areas, we've also got a, lot, a range of really high quality golf courses, more local, Leaving Links, Lundy, and so on, quite close to our campus. So we're in golf country for want of a better expression. Our HNC HND is really aimed at developing people that are leaving school, maybe not with enough hires to go straight into a full degree programme um, or want a more sort of practical hands-on experience to their learning, but it's about developing the knowledge and competencies for that career in golf. And it's not just in the coaching side of it, it's also about golf development, golf operations, maybe even into the management side of a golf club operations. So as an HNC, you should be looking to come to us with two hires from school or a national certificate in a relevant subject. And it's desirable that you're a, a lower handicap golfer, but not essential, but you should be working towards uh, a lower ha handicap. And when we say lower handicap, we're meaning single figures, preferably working towards when you leave us, uh, towards a category one golfer. So what, what do we have at Elmwood? What, what's it like being a student athlete if you come to us and what, what's a typical week? So our students come to us because they, they enjoy the game of golf and they want to continue getting better at the game of golf. But obviously we've got a full time curriculum that we have to work through. So the week has to be balanced around uh, what, what we're doing in terms of our studies and also make sure there's enough time in the week for you to practice. SRUC Elwood Campus has gone through quite a substantial change over this coming six months. We will be moving into a smaller campus building eh, and we've been encouraged by our management to look at more blended approaches to learning. So the typical week is going to change for delivery next year. So it won't be a traditional sort of four or five days on campus in class and practical. It's more likely to be a blended approach. There'll be some online learning, there'll be directed study, distance learning, some face-to-face -face on campus in a classroom and certainly some face-to-face -face delivery using golf facilities either locally or further afield. And then amongst that, we our students normally are involved in a weekly order of merit. Now that might be, be challenging if you're staying further away and doing the distance learning and travelling up just once a week to take part in that. So we'll work with students say uh, once we've got them signed up to see how we structure that order of merit so it's fair for everyone to participate. In terms of subjects, I've put up the, the, the subject areas that we study here. So you'll see we do a whole range of things that are linked to the golf industry. Some of them are linked to, to performance, so improving your, your fitness, doing resistance training for sports, so strength and conditioning for golf performance. There'll be aspects of selling uh, because with the a big part of the industry is retail. There'll be a work placement that links in with that. But we also look obviously at, at, in a bit of depth at the golf coaching 
aspects of leading into the industry. So we'll look at how do you develop a basic understanding of coaching pedagogy and how do you build on that? So working from beginners through to immediate performers. So what's it like working with people that are new to the game, but also what's it like working with a, someone with a, a good handicap and actually get them to that lower handicap? And tied in with that, we've got business uh, studies around financial accounting and, and managing people at a higher level when you move on to the HND. So broadly, there's three key streams. There's the sports science that underpins performance, so anatomy, physiology, resistance training, and principles of fitness. There's the golf industry requirements, so there's things like first aid, financial accounting, selling skills, and then there's the coaching side of it, which is the intermediate performance and working with uh, beginners. And that theme is kind of replicated in the HND, where you can see there's a similar emphasis on some of the sports science, like fitness conditioning, nutrition, and psychology. There's an element of managing people and develop understanding of golf courses. There's event management, there's biomechanics, and then working with advanced performers. So what's it like working with these lower handicappers to get their handicap down? And then we supplement that with thinking about where you might be going next. And so there's a sports development and research module, and that's really to look at research skills around how we grow the game of golf. But Predominantly, the research skills is linking into your next steps in university study and how do you research, how do you conduct research, how do you access research that's been done to build arguments about the and inform the sort of working practices that you should adopt. So if we look at that in a more sort of holistic thing, if we're doing something like the equipment tech unit, there's a wee bit of theory, but there's obviously practical hands-on learning about golf club repair, construction, rebuilding, reshafting, regripping. If we're looking at the sports science, for example, in nutrition and golf, we're looking at what sort of areas of study would be interested, interesting for a golf coach, but also a golf performer. How could we use diet to enhance your performance? Same with when we're looking at industry visits. What sort of meaningful visits can we do with our local facilities to get a better understanding of what are the what's it like to work in the industry? What sort of people are they looking for? What sort of activities and, and roles are available? We did a recent visit to Golf it through just in the outskirts of Glasgow, which is an RNA initiative about growing the game and trying to change the way that people perceive golf. So it's kind of a blend between traditional golf and more your sort of leisure golf that you maybe find in some of the sort of driving ranges and golf facilities and cities, cities and city centres. Um, and we tie that in with obviously visits to ranges and using a own range up at Elmwood. Um, and visits to local golf courses where we, we do a bit of coaching with others, but we also do a bit of competition amongst ourselves and against other groups. So I'll talk about competition in a later slide. So we do lots of industry visits just in the local area and a wee bit further afield. And um, we we'll look at things, this is particularly moving on to sort of HND. When, when we look at things at HND level, we're starting to think about that pathway to third year entry at university or the next progression route. So we, we start to devolve more study towards you as a, a, a learner where you're finding out more information and making sense of it and collating it. And we're looking at research. And so this example is from a, a strength and conditioning module where we look at what's the benefits of strength and conditioning, um, what sort of sports science studies are out there that informs us and, and how does that feed through? You? Well, what should we do with a golfer if we're taking them in the gym or what should you as a golfer do when you go to the gym. So it's research based and looking at building case studies and how we then pull in sports biomechanics, skill acquisition and you know your knowledge of golf flight rules and golf coaching to, to look at the whole package. So it might be that someone isn't getting much distance off the tee because the a technique or biomechanical fault, you maybe coach them, but it might be an underlying physical fault that they've just not got much power. They need to develop greater core strength or greater power in their swing. So we, we take that holistic view in your studies. The sports science that underpins performance is to help your coaching in these situations. So the progression routes that we, we, we have enjoyed over the last few years is from studying with us is to think about where you go next. So we've traditionally always had a really good relationship with our local university in Dundee Abertay. They have a strong suite of uh, sports-related programs at the golf 
professional golf programme feeds into. And typically you'd be looking direct entry into third year. So that means if you studied an HNC with us, an HND, you could articulate straight into third year of one of their related programmes. If you'd gone to UHI, and that's where the PGA pathway would, would take you, they take you into second year because they put a bigger emphasis on work placements throughout their first year uh, and in between their first and second year. So th they are more inclined to take you into a second year if you were to choose that as an option. And like I say, that would be the PGA route. The other route into the PGA is, is straight into employment as a, a trainee PGA professional. And we find a lot of our students do that because they've come to us uh, with maybe not great qualifications from school, but the training that they get with us then gives them a really strong background to then take to interview. And we find that when our students go for interview for a trainee position, what they're able to describe about the activities that they did and the knowledge and skills that they've gained with us puts them in a really strong position to, to, to get offered the position. The other option that we have um, for some of our students, and these are the higher performing ones, so the, particularly the lower handicap students who are interested in continuing their studies in America. So they're going more on a performance pathway. So they're going out to study a foundation degree, typically at a US college. It might be junior or senior college. And typically they're going there because they've been offered a scholarship because they're a really good golfer. And there's a range of levels of scholarship available, which our, our colleague uh, or ex-colleague Fraser Hutchison through Collegiate Golf USA can, can help with. So we, there's links there for students that are interested in that side of thing. Then we've had students that went directly into employment in golf operations. Quite often that starts off as seasonal employment leading into full-time employment. And we've now got former students now full-time employed in golf man management positions across the country. And here at Elmwood, we're currently uh, working away to get degree awarding powers as part of the wider SRUC. And specifically for golf, we are developing uh, a golf prog program, uh, uh, be a, uh, either a BSc or a BA. So we're developing a first, second, third and fourth year uh, of that degree pathway. And it's going to be probably not the working title that you see there, BA Professional Golf Studies. It's probably going to be about sustainable golf development. So how do you grow the game sustainably and golf operations? So that's looking to come on stream for 2025. And just as an example of where our students have went down the PGA route have went, you can see on the left hand side we've got former students now working across all these different golf courses and more across the country. And for jobs in the sort of wider golf industry, you'll see on the right hand side we've got past students now working here and abroad. Uh, particularly uh, Dubai has been a popular place for a number of our students over the last few years to go out, typically for a year or a season, um, just to get that experience on their CV. And just talking about, you can see uh, Tom Ogilvie there on the left, he's out there as a teaching professional at the Pete Cowan Academy. Um, we've now got Fraser Hughes at Scots Craig on the right, Kieran Moore, who went on to UHI, but he's now working in golf operations at Dunbarney Links and Katie Reid is working with the RNA. Stuart Waters is the a PGA pro down at Dunbarney and he started his PGA route by articulating into the PGA training after studying with us, first of all, to get his foot in the door. So he's now the resident pro down at Dunbarney Links, which for those that are maybe not local to Fife is a high end golf resort, very similar to Kings Barnes. Uh, it's on the sort of south of, uh, of Fife, whereas Kings Barnes is very much on the, the eastern tip. But both of these are about a 20 minute drive from it, from our campus. So we, we visit these as sites of, you know, they're more focused on golf tourism. So their market is really high in golf tourism. So they really only open up around about April and they shut down for the winter around about September, October. And that's then closed for the off season. So they don't remain open for local play. Mentioned collegiate golf, so we've got numerous examples of former students that have went on both male and female golfers that have went out. Some of them have stayed out there and taken on uh, golf related jobs out there and some of them are competing on tours out there as well, having gone out there with a low handicap and getting a good scholarship. Um, so there's an example one, actually this chap's now working 
locally. Um, Lorna took a different route. She's now uh, finishing off her degree at Stirling University. Lorna with, was with us a couple of years ago um, and she won the the RNA Scholars Trophy when it was actually hosted on the, the, the ancient course through at St Andrews. So she came to us, did a rich and seen using that as a pathway to get into, like I say, Stirling University. Uh, again, just local trips include up to the Kingaret, which is the historic golf site just a couple of miles outside Cooper, looking at the history of golf and how the golf originated and the sort of equipment that they used to use. We visit the Dunhill every year, so this is a behind the scenes tour when they were setting the tournament up. This is one of the practice days and we got a talk from one of the tournament organisers for our students. And like I say, we, Kings Barnes is another place that we go and we, we've traditionally had a good relationship with them about developing carrying opportunities. So a lot of our students in between their, their academic years, so they, they finish with us around about the end of May, and a lot of them spend the summer working at King's Barnes or, you know, other courses like Carnoustie or, or Dumbarney, carrying for the season and making really good money as part of that. So we, we, what we typically do is we get a, a visit from the carry master at King's Barnes, comes in and does a, a bit of a, a talk. And then if you're interested in taking up employment, then you link with him and he'll, he'll invite you out for a, an informal interview and training before setting you up with some carry work over the summer. I mentioned that we take part in competitions, so we take part in what we call an ICT, which is an intercollegiate tour and a British Colleges tour. So we compete against a uh, local competition in the form of some of the private schools from Edinburgh, so Loretto and Merkiston, and Durham College in the north of England. And through that, we then qualify for national finals, which is against teams from all over typically England. So we travel down to wherever the finals have been held. So we've been to Derby a number of times, down near Manchester, Birmingham, Nottingham, even as far as Cornwall and Kent to take part in these national finals. And we've, we compete both as individuals and as a team. So there's team awards and individual awards when we're competing in these events. And then finally, that if you go to your Facebook page, there's a, a video that you could watch. I'll just highlight our Facebook page because it's a really good opportunity to just scroll through it, see the sort of activities. We try and update it when we're out and about. So as you scroll through, there's a video you can watch that gives a background to what we do at Elmwood. And you can see some of the activities that's been going on with our current students, the visits that we've had to golf at the PGA, uh, charity events that we take part in, what our current students are up to, and also what we've been doing over the last few years. So it's a good way of just seeing the sort of activity that typically goes on uh, when you're a student here at Elmwood. OK, so it's worth visiting our SRUC Elmwood Golf Facebook page if you get a chance. Other than that, it's uh, just any questions. So Caroline, is there any questions that have been put into the chat? Yeah, we've had one through um, and it says, does the college provide branded golf clothing to students? Yes, yeah, so you maybe notice from some of the, the photographs there that, that are, we like our students to be recognised and have team wear. So we don't provide it. Um, we don't provide the funding for it. We can't help with funding, but typically we, we work with a a clothing manufacturer. This year we've, we've went with Druids because they've been really good value for money and we get a student package which is really good so you get typically uh, a t-shirt, a top, uh, you could get trousers and go for the, the hat and warm warm jacket as well um, and it's usually coming in around about £90 for all that kit but there's, an op there's options that we don't force students to buy a particular amount but as we're involved with coaching, we want our students to at least have one logo top that they could wear when they're out coaching and also when they're competing in the intercollegiate tour. Great, thanks Gary. I think that's actually all our questions. We've got a quiet evening on the question front. Okay. Um, is um, there anything, so I was just going to ask Gary if there's anything you'd like to add before we close the event tonight? I would just say if you've got any questions then make contact with Elwood and um, just get in touch either your phone reception or you could drop an email to myself or to my colleague Graham. It's basically our names gary.anderson at sruc.ac.uk or graham.mcdowell 
at sruc.ac.uk. Just reach out to us, drop us an email if you've got any questions and we'll reply back. And if, if you're local or you want to come up for a visit and a chat, then we can arrange that. That's great. Thanks, Gary, and thanks for joining us this evening.